If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel to grow. Uh, more importantly, please enjoy. Thank you. Welcome to Irish Fully Vlogs, guys. We just arrived here at United Park, Drottada, for the pre-season friendly between Drottada United and Derry City. Uh, following my experience from the AUL last week between Shelburne and Wexford, I've come well-dressed tonight. I have my lagging jacket. I have two hoodies, a jumper, a scarf and a hat, and two pairs of socks, which includes a pair of football socks. So hopefully I won't freeze to death tonight. Uh, of course, we do have a stand, and it doesn't look like it's raining, but uh, I've pulled all the stops basically, and not taking any chances. So, um, yeah, let's get in and catch the match vlog, guys. <laughs> So guys, that's pre-season uh, game number two completed. Uh, finished Derry City 1, Drottada United nil here in United Park in Drottada. And um, a couple of things I observed in the game. Uh, you can see that Derry City looked a much sharper and fitter side. Remember that the Premier Division starts a couple of weeks before the First Division, so that was clear. Um, also, the fact that uh, Drottada struggled a bit when rotating their players, both teams rotated a little bit, but clearly Derry are going to have a better squad than Drotada. Uh, Drotada struggled badly in the game for long periods. Uh, some of the signings played, like Touche played at centre back with Hugh Douglas. Douglas actually struggled a little bit, but look, he's uh, new to the club and you can't really uh, factor in those things too much, you know what I mean? First game and all that kind of thing. Uh, also from Jonathan's point of view, they're not going to be playing Derry City every week in the first division, far from it. I was impressed with a lot of Derry's play. I thought the two wingers, particularly in the first half, because McDonough was in the field in the first half, and Mallon signed from Sheffield United alone. He looked, keep an eye out for him this season. He looks like uh, very direct. He's going to be a serious addition to Derry this season. Him and McDonough in the wings could be up there amongst the best wingers in the league by the end of the season we might be saying that so keep an eye on that uh, Harkin got the goal for Derry very good in midfield you know little player but god he can uh, put himself about as well very good passer intelligent player um, so you know Devine looks like he's pulled it off another massive show with the sign of Malin they played Walter Figaro up front as well which is very interesting because he's more of a winger uh, but he played as a kind of a false nine now. It'd be interesting to see going forward if they do that, if they bring in a striker, they could play him off a striker maybe as well because the two boys in the wing, McDonough and Mallon, uh, are very direct and I think Derry will uh, look to continue in that fashion with those two there. But uh, they'll be happy with themselves at the run out when they look sharp and um, it looks like another decent season for Derry I, I would suggest as well. But um, yeah, great to get these pre-season games in because it's good to get to any games and it gets you itching for the for the big 
kick off basically as well and uh, very cold night here in Drotted as well and uh, well wrapped up and all that kind of thing but still very very cold um, so that's about it guys uh, like subscribe um, I might be going to Bohemians and Longford on Tuesday night I have to see it's in the AUL I think so I have to see about that one but uh, I'll try and get a few more vlogs in pre-season before the real stuff starts so uh, cheers lads and slong a full